it's shiny welcome back it's actually midday i've already had on makeup today i just took off my lipstick and my eyeshadow and instead of working instead of doing work during this break that i have unexpectedly i thought i would do a video of doing my makeup at work <sighs> i have a story a new story to tell you from South Carolina, but unexpectedly, I have a story about me and Rosé. Not Rosé the drink, Rosé the feline. Now, because I was so tired, <laughs> because I went to bed at 2 a.m., um, I didn't even bring any eyeshadow or nothing. Uh... So, I'm going to use, I mean, I have my NYX shadows in here, but I think, not I think, I'm going to use my face powders from uh, Lethal Cosmetics. That's actually what I used a little bit ago when I did my makeup several hours ago. Seven hours ago? Okay, girl. I'm going to go in with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer as an eyeshadow primer. Now, Rosé has several places that she takes up residence in to sleep, right? There was a time where she was like downstairs, not even not even studying me. She would sleep downstairs. But, you know, she's returned to the, the my bedroom. And, oh, look at all her brushes. And she has a little bed on top of my bed, right? So Rosé was just lounging in there last night and I was just ha trying to have a very, you know, chill evening with myself. I decided I was going to do some coloring. I had already done billing for my associates, which took several hours. But I was like, okay, now that I'm done with that, let me go ahead and relax because I had to come to the office uh, the next day and I usually try to get enough sleep because I tend to have to sit in traffic for like an hour and a half. Anyway, so all of a sudden, Rosé pops up and she's just staring like this. Now, I don't see nothing. So I'm like, Rosé, what you doing? And she's just, she's just staring, like real alert. Like what are those iris setters or something? So... I'm like, what is this cat looking at? So I'm looking, right? I don't see nothing. I'm looking at the floor. I'm looking up in the ceiling. I don't see nothing. So then she's still looking. So I go ahead and I get out the bed and I like tiptoe like the Grinch to the hallway and I like reach over and I like throw the light switch. I did that because I don't know if there's something over there creepy crawly that I don't see, okay? I don't see nothing. So I'm like, this cat is weird. I turn off the light. I go back in my bed. I'm minding my business and I leave hers alone. She's still looking. But then she kind of like leans on her paws. But she's not like in the bed. She's like leaning on the side of it. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Girl, so I look over here all of a sudden. Just, out, just you know, looking around the room. Big old centipede thing. It's like, it was like this big. And I was like, oh, hell no, right? So I'm like, what do I use? I, I'm not one of those people that just, you know, gets a cup and a piece of paper and takes stuff outside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you don't pay rent here, you don't belong here. And there are several ways you can go. You can leave by yourself or I can help you uh, be done with existing. So I'm like, okay, usually, because these bad boys be coming out um, when it gets warmer, like in the summer months, they be coming out. And I hate it. I hate it so much. Ow. I just rolled over my toe. So I'm like, I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner and just zip it on up, right? So I find the little Bissell, little handheld vacuum, right? And I switched the, the attachment because it was like the brush one. So I put the, what is it called? Like the, the, the suction hole one. So here's the thing. I'm scared. Okay. 
And so rather than just going to the wall and, you know, I'm like, I don't get it. It drops right down. It drops right down behind the like TV stand. Okay. And I'm like, Flip. by this time, Rosé done. Rosé is over in the hallway. So I'm like, whatever, man, I'm going a, I'm to a get this thing, right? So I'm just using the vacuum, and I'm just like <laughs> vacuuming behind the, the TV stand, thinking it's just going to, something going to happen, and it's just going to get suctioned into the vacuum, right? And then all of a sudden, I see it on the floor, on the carpet, and it's like crawling towards, like, under the bed. And I'm like, oh, no, no, right? I try again. I try again with the thing. It don't work. So I'm 0 for 2. Okay. So then I'm like, well, I'ma just, I'ma just uh I'ma just vacuum under the bed. Because you know, it's gonna it's gonna suction up. Okay, I'm gonna just vacuum under the bed. So I do that several times. And I'm like, whew, I must have got it, right? So Rose come back in the room. I'm back on the bed, you know, coloring, minding my business. I look over there. It's back. <gasps> I just had a thought. What if it's a different, what if it's its partner? Oh. Yeah. Oh, God, Jesus, don't let that be the case. We're just, it's the same one, okay? Back on the wall, same spot. How do you get over there? How you get over there? I feel like it's playing with me right now, right? So I'm like, you know what? Bunk this little bissel. Let me get the real vacuum cleaner. The the push and one of those, right? Because it has the hose on it. So I'm like, this is going to be better. It's going to be easier. I'm going to go in with... I think these two powders okay so um i what am i saying so i get the hose for the um the you know the full size vacuum and i try again now i had to pull the vacuum a little closer right because the hose is long but it's not like forever long i think maybe one of my mistakes was that i put the the um tubey thing the the get i put the smaller attachment and so i probably should have just used the hose at south by anyway so i go again i'm like doing you know when they duel and it's like uh, 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 that's what i'm doing i don't get it i'm oh for three i don't know where it go but here's the thing as I stepped forward, because I'm like dragging the, the vacuum hose, the vacuum tips over and bangs into the like, it, it's not glass, like it's not going to break. It's glass-ish. It makes a loud banging noise. All I see is just gray. Y'all. Rosé pole vaulted. Now, Rosé at this point was on top of the windowsill. She was on the windowsill, just staring at me, trying to save our lives because she's not helping, okay? So she pole vaults. Now, there's a space. There, there's a significant space between the window and the bed, the bed and the door. When I tell you this cat went from the windowsill all the way out the door, all the way out the bedroom door and kept going. She didn't stop. She did not stop, okay? She was like Forrest Gump. She didn't stop. And I'm over here like, how you gonna leave me by myself? Y'all, I have never, out of all the time we have been together, I have never seen that cat move so fast. Never, not once. Well, maybe I have. 
but she was like running at like she was like running upstairs to get a better view at whatever was going on outside and then she would like run down you know i don't even think she she when she got the zoomies i don't even think she'd be running this fast when i tell you this cat if the door downstairs to get out of the house was open rose would have been right outside so i'm feeling some kind of way because i'm like you pointed this out but you running, you not helping me. And aren't you supposed, aren't you a predator? So now I'm mad at Rosé. But I don't have time for her shenanigans, right? So I go and I'm looking like, where this cat at? All I see downstairs in the dark is this. Just her eyes. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get the ortho, the, the home defense spray. And I'm going to come in there like a, a, what's that, a ghostbuster. Child, I sprayed... Every, I must have even sprayed myself because I'm like, I don't know where this thing is. And obviously I can't catch it. And I text G and I'm like, listen, I'm moving out. <laughs> no, we both can't live. Me and this thing, we both can't live here. It could have it. And Rose could stay right where she is. So I don't see it anymore, right? Because I sprayed everything. Here come Rosé. And first of all, I'm like, don't speak to me, okay? Do not speak to me because I thought we were in this together, but apparently it's every man for himself. So Rosé's sitting on the stairs and she's like this. And I'm like, I don't have time for this in my life right now. So I'm like, does she see something else? Because I can't see nothing. And when I tell you, so I go back, I go, you know, because now I'm ready. I got the, the Bissell, I got the ortho stuff. I'm just like, I'm ready to go. And she's meowing, meowing, meowing. And so she goes downstairs. And I'm like, am I supposed to follow you? Because the light is not on down there. I didn't turn the light on. She's standing in front of her treats. I was like, I bet you not. I bet you you're not going to get a treat. You left me to fight for myself back here. You're not getting rewarded for that. So I decided to go back in the room. And when I tell you that room looked like who did it, what for, and don't do it no more, okay? The room <laughs> is a mess. I'm a mess. Let me show you how I was looking. So I have my glasses on because I like to put my glasses on when I'm at home, right? And I'm sweating. So the glasses are like right here. My hair is like this. And my like nightgown is just soaked with sweat. So I'm like, let me take the glasses off, take my hair down. I took the nightgown off and then I proceeded to like the, the air conditioner is on and the fan in the room is on. But to me, it feels like Dante's Inferno. So I go ahead and get one of my handheld fans and I'm laid back on the bed with like holding my breast, putting the, the air there and then like putting the air on my cooch. Like I'm just having a moment. So after I done calm down, you know, everything's everywhere. The markers, the color pencils, the the books. Here come Rosé. She come and she get in her little bed. And she like snuggles down and I guess she's ready to go to sleep. So I'm thinking, okay. So that to me is a sign that this thing is gone, right? Because she wouldn't be in here if it wasn't. And I'm over here like, you know what, Rosé? Your cousin Stevie, my sister's cat, Stevie, she would be up in here fighting this thing with me. And then this morning, Jan sent me a video of her cat Puppers, like, attacking some kind of insect. Now, I didn't want to make Rosé feel bad about herself because I don't want her comparing herself to her cousins. But in my head, I'm like, you are real dainty. You're real dainty. You don't know, you don't remember what it was like living on the streets because... I have never seen that cat move that fast. It was like she was flying. And you got me over here sparring with this thing. I hope it's dead. I'm sorry. I hope it's dead. Oh, Jesus be offense. So that was last night. And then I was reading a news story. That was just as ridiculous. It was in South Carolina. 
Oh, now I'm going in with this shade here. It was in South Carolina. Um, deputies were called to this house. I don't know if it was a house. I don't know if it was an apartment, a trailer. I'm not sure, but they get called to this abode. And what we find out is what happened. There was a fight going on. Now, the first person we hear about is Hope Harper. The next person we hear about, I don't know if this is Hope's cousin, uncle, aunt, I don't know, sibling, I'm not sure. But their name is Anthony Harper. So we have Hope Harper and Anthony Harper. I'm saying it correctly. I'm saying it how it's spelled, okay? Let me tell you, because I'm reading through and I'm like, is this a typo? Because I've just been seeing a lot more typos in these uh, written articles. But it says it several, several times. It's A-N-O-T-H-O-N-Y. Anothony. Okay? Anothony. Anothony. Now, this is what I do. Like, me and my siblings have some interesting names. Or, like, government names. But this one, this one right here, Anothony. I'm not calling you that. I'm calling you Anthony. That's the name, okay? I'm not calling you Anothony. I just feel like somebody might have accidentally put a little loop in there and it really wasn't supposed to be there. I don't know. Anyway, so Anthony is in the kitchen cooking. Here come Hope. Because they have the, the same last name. It doesn't seem like they're partners. I'm thinking siblings or first cousins. I think I'm going to go with first cousins and you'll see why. Hope is like, Anthony, why don't you, like, put some seasoning on the chicken, you know, so it could crisp up or whatever. And Anthony is like, I know how to cook chicken. And anyway, Grammy says she was going to season it. So Hope turns around and calls Anthony a dumb dog. That's what it says in the news article. I'm 100% sure that she said dumb bitch. Because who? why would you call somebody a dumb dog? She definitely called him a dumb bitch. So in response, Anthony pushes Hope and starts just like fighting her, right? So then somebody else, they don't say who, somebody else come into the kitchen and they shoot a gun up to the ceiling. To stop these two from fighting. Apparently that broke up the fight for a little bit. And Hope was able to get up. And Hope grabs a steak knife. And begins chasing Anthony around the house. Around the kitchen. So the grandmother. Whom I'm assuming is Grammy. Like comes out her room. I don't know what she was doing beforehand. But she comes out her room. And she starts chasing Hope with a broom. So by this time, you know, Grammy's taking care of Hope. So Anthony is free to do whatever. So Anthony grabs a can of Raid. And Anthony sprays Hope all up in the face and neck. But somehow, Hope gets loose. And Hope grabs the Raid. And sprays Anthony all over his body. And I believe that's when the deputies came in. These two were arrested and both charged with like assault and battery. But they also like posted bond on Tuesday and they're out. <sighs> the more I read this story, the more I was like, I would be there like... Like, what's happening? And, okay, so here's, I think, I think the catalyst, I don't think the catalyst was her talking about Anthony seasoning the chicken. I think it was when Hope was like, dumb bitch. She didn't say dumb dog. Would you be offended by dumb dog? I would not be offended by dumb bitch, okay? That's what I would be offended by. But I'm also wondering about Grammy. Did Grammy season that chicken? It don't sound like, what was she doing up in her room? And where'd she get that broom? Was the broom in her room? Bars. Like, did she season the chicken? Because 
Anthony was like, Grammy says she was going to season the chicken. I don't even know if the grandmother is Grammy. I don't know if that's the same person or not. What I do know is Hope was right. I'm going to need you to season the chicken, okay? Like, I'm not eating this non-seasoned chicken that you ain't wash or nothing. I'm going to need you to put, like, some lemon. and I need you to season that chicken. So I'm right there with Hope about that. I think where Hope took it too far was starting to call people names. But when I tell you both these people, they were not going down. Now, I'm I'm wanting to say, based on my experience, I'm wanting to say this was a first cousin. It felt like it went just a little bit too far for a sibling. I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to spray my sibling with raid. I'm just not going to now a cousin. We just, we just share a little bit of blood. <laughs> you share a little bit, okay? Ugh. Blood don't make you family and make you related. And I don't know. I don't know. A cousin I'd be more likely to, to spray with some, right? But I don't think I would do that to one of my, my siblings. Because we still got to, we, we kind of got to live together and interact. I don't be seeing these cousins. So you let me know. What kind of family relation do you think this is? But also, the last name Harper, it's probably not that uncommon, so maybe they're not even related. <sighs> that was it. That was that, that was it. <laughs> so basically, I didn't go to bed until 2, which is much, much later than I should have. And I've had, I've had a good amount of coffee thus far. Um, and now that I had this little break, I just thought I would let you know. Also, Rose ain't loyal. I know now that the love she has for me has a limit. Because she's going to leave me <laughs> to fight by myself. Okay? Child. Anyway, let me let me just put the rest of this together and I'll come back and say bye. Okay, here's the finished look. It's, I feel like I'm a little worse for wear because this has been on all day. But, um, just wanted to give you a little something. And at least I got to refresh things more than I really ever would. Okay, so I hope that some of this was helpful. And I also hope that you are continuing to take care of yourself. I would like to, I know, you know what, I might not even ask because I think most people are going to be on Rosé's side, but just let me know, is anybody on my side? Also, let me know what kind of relation you think Hope is to Anthony. I think they're first cousins. All right. Um, I would love it if you liked the video, and I would love it even more if you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.